Hey, YT World, this your girl, Law Kiki, Miss D, dot C, dot that is, and I'm coming at you with a little bit of BB21, okay? Um, it's episode 16, so we're going to dig right into it because it's not really that much shit that I can really um, exaggerate on this nothingness as episode that we just went uh witnessed pretty much together um so i'm gonna skim through this real fast like my notes is like scarce like shit so i'm definitely telling you the truth um so this should be under 15 minutes if i don't run my damn mouth um <laughs> before you get into it though make sure you like and subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that notification bell as well because your girl need the subscribers up along with the viewership so um hopefully more than about 15 and 20 people actually view this um, video right now, <laughs> but that's another story. Um, okay, so pretty much it leaves off at nominations with uh, Sam is pretty much um, being tearful um, and pretty much saying, I never knew why people um, actually uh, cried during the nomination ceremonies, but now and I get it. I get it as a stressful situation and all he thinks about is his family at this point. And pretty much knowing that his fate is only in his own hands. Like, all the times that he won the veto by, you know, just for fun. Now, he really needs to win the veto. Pretty much. Duh. Um, Nick says, shocker! And I'm just like, shocker that you stealing somebody else's stilo. Like, you talk about Matt all the time in the house. On the live feeds. Talk about him, his game being uh, a terrible game, but you pretty much did the same thing. You shacked up with Bella. She was terrible for your game. Um, uh, what's that whole name uh, that Matt was uh, with? Uh, I can't think of that whole name because she was really uh, irrelevant to the whole thing. But still, she had more viewership time than than he has, except for eating a bowl of cereal, like he said. But all you up here is um, eating clit the whole season. And where has it gotten you? Um, and she's Raven. That's that whole name. The whole name was Raven. Yeah. Pretty much she's she was bad for his game and Bella's bad for your game. But also, you you just suck, period. You're not going to do anything. You talk about doing something big, but sh you're not knowing shit. So, please stop that. And please take that shocker uh, comment back because that's only Jeff uh, Schroeder. I forgot his um, last name with the whatever the fuck. Literally, that's his um, season, so let it let it die out, please. Um, and Cliff uh, talks to Jessica and Nicole at the same time, and pretty much he thinks that um, we pretty much should keep the nominations the same, because if we don't, then you know it's one of us going up. Church ring going, y'all. Okay. It's pretty much uh, me, you, or... Uh, Jess or Nicole going up, so hey, we might as well keep it the same. So we ain't really trying to win this veto. Um, Kat volunteers to go up when she's in the room uh, with Holly and uh, Annalise and I believe um, Christy, and she just volunteers to go up. Uh, she's making up this grand scheme plan to hide um her and holly's relationship like bitch nobody was looking for you and holly's relationship at all in the house like you're not important that we was actually thinking about oh um i wonder if cat is like she's playing such a strategic uh strategic uh, can't even say the shit strategic game that um i wonder if her and holly is together because we need to find some way to like defeat cat no bitch nobody's thinking about you or no ho uh Holly, all we think about you is y'all some dumb hoes getting crabs under the same dude. That's the only thing that we saying about y'all. We're not saying anything of the sorts of any masterminding or anything. More like undermining, you know, far as your thoughts and your personality and, and what's in there, actually. But anyway, that's another subject. Um, and that Holly actually going to agree with her dumb ass. Talking about some, oh yeah, I think that's genius. Stupid bitch. No, nothing about that is fucking genius. It's just put Kat on the daggone block if she volunteers. That's not genius. It's just what it is. You volunteer, I put you because I'm not going to get more blood on my hands. So might as well put your ass up. If you if you volunteer for it, your ass going to be, I'm going to be dumb enough. I mean, I'm going to be smart enough to put you up because, I mean, that was just stupid. Um, and you deserve to leave if something happened. Um, so we go to the POV picks. And... 
Harley picks Tommy and um what else? Uh Sam got house guest choice and he picks Cliff and Cliff is just like, Oh dag, you know, now I don't know what to do because he picked me and I normally want to go for the um the P uh the veto. But then I'm going to have a decision whether I got to pull him down or not. And I don't know if I want to do that. And he's expecting me to do that since he pulled me down. Yeah, shouldn't have been making all them deals. You should have been um, actually like um, not trying to sell everybody a deal at the time. Because you got to honor it or you're going to look terrible for your family. You remember? That's the reason why you couldn't put Christy and Tommy up last week. Because you don't want to look like your family is watching it. Dumbass. But anyway, Nick picks Jessica, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, y'all did do good at putting the driest people in the um in the competition, and then obviously um Harley picked Jack Matthews. It was actually Jonathan Matthews as um the host, and he was so extra. Yes, yeah, ah, ah, all that. Nobody want to hear that shit. Please, like. When you got your TV up loud and you start doing that shit, it set off the dogs, the cats, everything in the house. Please, for your dog's sake, please don't do that extra no more. It's just a fucking hosting game. It's not that serious. And you look stupid as hell hosting as well. Um, and then um, Nick is happy with the pick, obviously, because he's talking about this whole, in order to try to get both of us off the block, but no, <laughs> skip ahead. <laughs> I'll say that for later on. I'll say that for the end of this. But anyway, um, the POV competition begins uh, called the BB Farms. Like all these generic ass titles for this um, pretty much um, competitions is just baffling to me. But then again, they probably don't have a budget enough to come up with nothing different. This this was an Amazing Race type ass game because I seen this on Amazing Race when it was in Switzerland when they had to do this. But we're going to get into it. The Pretty much the goal of this game is to um, to add up the sheep in the pen. Like, gather the sheep and put it in the pen. Each each sheep has a number on them. And you got to add up uh, the number of sheep to your target number. And then all players will have to ha do a head-to-head -head battle until um, the last player is standing and, you know, reach the target and rings the bell, pretty much. Um Pretty much, it's like Amazing Race. I mean, gather up the sheep, but the only thing about the Amazing Race one, they had to gather up all the black sheep and separate the black sheep from all the white sheep. And pretty much, it's a it's a thing where you don't run after the you don't run after the fucking sheep. You you walk to them and you creep to them and you like kind of like guide them with your arms. You don't run. As soon as you run, all of them going to scatter all different places. If you watch The Amazing Race, if you're a Big Brother fan, that's how you know they all fucking recruits. If you watch The Amazing Race, you would know, okay, this is how they did it to, got the, to get the sheep to go in this way. You know, you keep that open right there and you let them all run into that and then you sort them out. You could have got all the sheep to run into your pen and then you freaking pull the sheep out that's not supposed to be in there. That would have been ding, ding, ding. Except for you running all around the drink for 30 minutes or something like that, just trying to catch one sheep to that adds up to a number. That was the dumb as hell, backward as um, game plan. But, you know, they they rookies coming into this, so they don't know what the hell they doing. Um, pretty much Holly um she talked all that shit about her being a safari guide I mean a guide is a guide you're not handling animals but okay and then she talked about some all all I need to do is uh have some wine um cuz I'm pretty much um I'm pretty much laying him out or whatever this is my nature I'm a wine girl um I mean a uh, woman girl Wyoming girl I hate the name of that state Wyoming I want to say woman but every time I look at it, it, it looks like Wyoming, but it's like Wyoming. Like, why we got to add some extra to that name of the state? Like, it's just Wyoming, literally to me. But anyway, I'm doing too much. Um, Pretty much, she beats Nick. I mean, so I'm sorry, not Nick. She um beats Sam the first round. And then the next round, it was Jessica and Tommy. Jessica didn't do shit. She just ran her... Fat ass all around, and that, yes, her fat, ripply 
ass all around the screen. I was tired of all the jiggle sensation of every fucking thing. I was like, please, dead this competition already. Tommy already knew he was going to win that because she ain't do shit. She was just running around. Like, this is not the time to get your workout in. Your workout would have been before this competition, but okay. Um, and then the next um, round was uh, Nick and... Tommy, I believe. No, not Nick and Tommy. Nick and Holly. And Nick and um, Holly was all talking shit, talking about something. Yeah, I laid your buddy out to the pastures. Now it's time to lay you out. Girl, you ain't do shit. Duh. Please stop. I hate when people come on the show talk about some. Oh, I'm from this and this and that. We, I'm used to this. I, this should be my competition. I'm from the da da da, da. I don't know whether the producer's bigging up your ass. But I already knew your ass was not going to win on account that they was bigging up your talk about where you came from. And I gathered this and I gathered the hate. And I ain't that. Girl, you didn't do shit. Next, he did that with ease. Um, and I don't know why they try to make it seem like she was so close to beating him in his competition. Like he was wet. He was already walking his daggone number three into his um, number three sheep into his um, bin. So. It didn't come close, so that look that was a badass edit on that. Um, and then he went against um Tommy, and that was not even close. So, the moral of the story is none of you hoes know what y'all talking about, and y'all not good at anything. It's just, just a crapshoot game where somebody got the shrimp to win this one, and you know, it depends on to me how much passion you have to win this because what your butt is on the line, pretty much, and that's what happened. Nick wins this. Sam already um, knows that he is gone, but he's still happy for Nick that he was able to get off the block. But he like, oh, my God, I know it's my game is over like shit, boy. Yes, it is. Um, because all of the dumbass uh, decisions you made, first of all, taking Cliff off was a one dumbass decision because he ain't worth shit. And you see that he ain't going to go to bat for you at all. Um, and the other dumbass move was um, not... Um, not making a, uh, what do you call it? Not taking Kimmy off the block when you won the veto. That was a dumbass move right there. You don't know who could have won what in the next, you know, you don't know what competition she would have won if she would have had the chance to win it. That was a dumbass move. And then not blowing up the daggone, not telling, um, Nick that they was pretty much gunning for him when he was HOH. You just sat back and let it ride because you thought you was good in a situation with them. They just really wanted Nick. Well, if they really want Nick and that's your ally, then they really want you too. They're just going to tell you we want Nick first because he had Bella and you had no one. Da, 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 ding, ding, ding. So that was stupid ass moves that you made. And I really don't feel bad for you if you leave this house. I mean, I like you as a character. You would have been the only one sufficient enough for me to be like, oh, yeah, I could see him winning or I could see Nicole winning. But now all we can fucking root for is Nicole and she's even probably gone next week. That sucks. Um, moving on. The six shooters talk about um, who can they put up as um, far as like the pre-POV ceremony. Like who can they put up? Um, and Christy pretty much wants Sam's to go, Sam to go home. Um, and most of them say Nicole, but Holly thinks that she uh, she should still use Cat because she don't want to give no blood. And um, I don't think she really wants Nicole there because she's like like uh, I don't know I don't really want to see Sam go for her for her. I really want to uh no I'm sorry not really want to see Sam go at this point she was just like like I I, I think I still should use cap because I don't want no blood on my hands pretty much skipping along um Christy and Tommy um put more oh this was a dumbass segment I don't even know why I wrote this down in my notes uh Christy and Tommy put more pink Calamai lotion on, like, yay, I mean, yay, like, who gives a fuck, who gives a fuck, this is the, the worst of BB history punishment ever, like, all I have to do is lose and just put pink Calamai lotion on and don't take a shower for four days, it's like, okay, I'm on Survivor, like, shit with pink Calamai lotion on me, I'm sorry, not even Calamai lotion, just pink shit on me that turned purple and got a couple leaves in my daggone underwear, it's like, Oh, okay, best punishment ever. Um, and meanwhile, they do a segment of um, what I say. Yeah, and then meanwhile, they do a segment of uh Nicole having a panic attack about flamingos. 
I'm like, that was a dumbass. Um, I'm saying dumbass for everything, but it was. It was a dumbass segment. It was just like, okay, she babbling on too fucking much about flamingos. Because, you know, when they like attack you and I just think of... But it's funny because I do be thinking of birds like that when I be thinking about those uh, uh, birds that come on the military base when I used to work on it. And uh, the little geese. And they always go in two. Somebody told me, like, you know what? Count, like, literally when you see them walk past literally count and see um that they all never freaking um walk alone it's always an even number and i just thought i'm like shoot they are even numbers so it seemed like a pack mentality and it's kind of creepy and they look creepy and if you get close to one the other one's coming towards you and they will run after you too so um and chase you so i understand where she's coming from for that but they just dragged this fucking thing on too long moving on Sam tries to sell himself to Harley to stay um, to stay by asking her to put up another threat next to him on the seat. And she's pretty much thinking, like, uh, Nicole, maybe. Because she said, yeah, maybe, um... I put shaking my damn head, no, she ain't. But that's on the live feeds, pretty much. She's talking to him on this edit. They have her looking like... You know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about putting up Nicole. No, you ain't, bitch. You you know you getting Sam out. You ain't. You was already having cat in place, period, in your head. You was not thinking about putting up Nicole, period. Um, but this edit going to make it seem like you gave some thought about actually keeping Sam. But I, I think that that was a fucking lie. And I'm here to tell the truth to all the casual viewers. Um, Holly wants to put... Um, up Nicole in this edit, like I said, and she's telling that to Christy and um, I think she's telling that to Christy and Annalise, I believe. No, Christy and Tommy, that's what she was saying it to. Um, and Christy tells her, um, no, and Annalise was there as well. Christy tells her that um, Sam is the biggest threat, and Christy see this as a red flag, like, okay, Holly, I thought we was on the same page, like. Christy, fuck you. This is my HOH. I have to weigh my options. Like you, you have a panic attack when it's your HOH, but I'm going to think about it. I'm not going to sit and cry and ask the house to tell me what to do. I didn't ask the house like you to tell me what to do. I know what to fucking do. And I'm weighing the options in my head. And I'm just letting you know what I'm weighing, but don't fucking tell me what to do. I don't need your kind of help. Um, that's how I felt about it. And they, um, tell Annalise pretty much. They tell Annalise about these red flags that they were feeling, pretty much. And Annalise goes straight out there after that conversation um, and tell Jack and Holly that, um, tell Jack and Holly that um, Tommy and Christy is up there feeling like, like they're getting bombarded or, or blindsided and you really want to keep Sam in because, uh, so you can take a shot at them. And I thought we was all on the same page, but she's acting shady. And then Jackson get pissed. Um, and she pretty, and Annalise also added that extra, which was your extra, girl. Talk about some y'all seeming to appear like, y'all seeming to appear like um, Bella and Nick right now. She added the extra, and they didn't say that shit. Um, Jackson gets pissed at um, Christy and Tommy, and he said he want to confront them. So he does go to confront them, even though they said, Holly and Annalise said, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that, because they already know that. I said, and then he went straight and did it anyway because he a jackass and he don't care about nobody else's feelings but his own. Everything got to be hashed out when it's about him. But it's barely about you and more about Holly, you fucking turd. So I don't understand why you even had to go and say something. Um, but that's cause just, just the kind of uh, bullshit person you are. Um, Holly um, act pissed at Jackson when she come in like, I didn't tell you to speak for me. I, I wanted to be in here. I told you not to confront them on my behalf. And then he walk out and she, girl, nobody believe that theatrical ass show that you just put on. Nothing about it look hard as anything. Like literally when you walked in and said, I didn't tell you to speak to me. It looked like you had a crack of smile on your face when you're saying it. So it was just like, okay. Um, so, um, she start, she start telling Tommy and Christy about the whole, um, thing. And then Holly act pissed with Jackson and um yeah I say Jackson she acts uh pissed with sis too and it's really because and and she said she uh 
Okay, I was reading this fast. She's acting pissed with sis, and then she's telling them about everything. And Christy and Tommy trying to backtrack pretty much because she didn't make her nominations yet or renom yet. So they're like, oh, we got to get out of this shit. So they put uh, push sis under the bus pretty much. And then um, Holly was like, oh, okay, okay. So that that B is um, pretty much um, running around here gossiping and stuff, spreading lines, talking about something I'm like Isabella and... Uh, and Nick, like, bitch, or whatever. But we all know the real reason is because, Holly, you're insecure as fuck. All that plastic surgery start melting your plastic-ass face. Um, Annalise has no plastic surgery at all. That's all natural face. Nobody whatsoever, but that's all her natural nobody whatsoever. And she doesn't take that much makeup to put on in order to look like something. You take a whole fucking procedure and makeup and a tan and some glow, like everything to make up fucking Holly and some lashes as well. Um, you need a whole bunch of aesthetics to do anything fucking with your regular ass country next girl, girl next door, but not even girl next door country because you are the low budget version of them, which you had to make up with plastic surgery in order to become even to that amount of your country as hometown of Wyoming. And now you're just jealous of sis because you think sis wants anything of Tommy. I mean, um, of Jackson ass and she want nothing of the sort. She actually still is up Jack's ass. So nobody wants your non peck having fat ass, uh, reform fat ass still with no peck ass. Um, Jackson, nobody want him with his racist Tennessee, no shooting ass. Nobody want him, okay? That's the reason why you're mad at Annalise. It has nothing to do with the game. It's your insecure, melted plastic face ass. That's what it is. Um, moving on. Holly go back outside, and then she's apologizing to Jack. All that fucking show she put on in the room, she's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just didn't want you to speak for me because... I don't like it. They already see me as weak and like you're running my HOH and I don't want them fucking comparing me to Isabella and Nick and stuff like that. Like, fuck. Like, but like, nobody like said that like you're just thinking like somebody give, give a fuck about both of y'all. Nobody like, please. Sis just said that she did put that extra in but please believe you dumbass. You're going on the block next if they win. She probably put y'all on a block before anybody else in the house. For doing this dumbass stuff in your um, in your uh, nominations, so the POV ceremony happens, and pretty much Nick pulls himself off the block like we all expected and like Sam expected, and then Holly replaces him with Cat. Sam's like, Psh, straight, you know, whatever. Like, yeah, <laughs> how freaking um shocking, pretty much. Like his buddy said that you put um Cat on the um. I think he said straight, though. I think he said straight. Like, pretty much. Bitch, all the stuff that I was telling you that I, I would be good for, and you just gonna put cat on the drink, so you soaked my deal. Straight. I understand, you guys. But that's all that happened. This episode was really dry as fuck. Um, hopefully this, um, today, actually, since I'm doing this late, um, actually the eviction go well, and we see a new underdog HOH, because I'm ready for shit to shake up. Okay? I holla, bye.